If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be part of my little series about series that I will continue or not, depending on what they are. So I just posted my video about the series I'm not continuing. This time it's about the ones that I don't know. I feel like I want to, I might, I might not. You let me know what you think because you might convince me to put it higher on my TBR, much lower or just, you know, because 2021, I've been making it a point to not force myself to finish books I don't like or series that I, I you know, too many books, too many books, what's the point? So uh, let's do this, I'm very excited. Some of these might be a little controversial, but uh, we're just gonna go for it. You know what, just for the sake of this video, let me start with the most controversial one. Uh, to be fair, I'm like 95% sure I will read it, but I just wanted to express the fact that I'm not thrilled about it. <laughs> This is gonna be super shocking, like be ready. The seventh book in the Ms. Bourne series, the second series, I should say. Okay, um, bear with me. I read the first trilogy, uh, loved it. There are obviously some weaknesses, but overall great, uh, great ideas, world building, magic system, awesome. Uh, the second series, it's going to be four books. Uh, the first one was supposed to just be one book at first and then he added to them. And uh, it went from like, medieval-ish times, I guess. And this one is more like Western. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> I call it cowboys, okay? And I don't really care for Westerns, uh, but I gave it a shot because everyone was saying, you know, it's great, the banter between two main characters, their friendship, and it's the same world and the same uh, magic system. So, you know, and it's Brendan Sanderson. It's gonna be great. Uh, I've read the three that are currently published. The fourth one is coming possibly later this year. I, I feel like I will read it just to say I did it and finish the series so I can go on and read the next ones because I believe there are going to be four and like the last one's gonna be like in space and stuff, which yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The characters are great. Um, there are both like um, sheriffs, they're, they're, it's not the name, but whatever they're called. The friendship is great, the banter is great. It's the same magic system, so that's great. But I just don't really care. <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. I, I'm sorry. Not really, but ah, for myself. I'm sorry for myself because, ugh. Uh, yeah, I probably would not read it if it weren't for the fact that there are going to be more books in the same world. Like, I'm admitting it. Like, if that was it, I would have probably not read past the first book in that new series. <laughs> I feel like people are going to be shocked in the comment section, but yeah, that, that's just the truth, so... Obviously, this one is not really something that you need to vote on, but you can be shocked. Um, next, we have Foundry Side. Uh, I don't think it really comes that much as a surprise. Uh, I read it last year, the year before, I think. And I've been meaning to continue, but I was disappointed. People were saying that it was a little similar to Brenda Sanderson's style as an adult fantasy. And yeah, you know, there's a talking key, <laughs> which was probably the best part in the whole thing. I don't know, I just really didn't care. Um, so I feel like this one is probably gonna go towards no, but I'm still kind of open. People tend to say that the series is great and that book two was also great, but I don't know. I'm still kind of disappointed by book one, so you let me know, but yeah, I, I barely remember it. I feel like it was very unmemorable and just didn't care for the writing, didn't care for the characters except for the key and whatever you know plot and ending. It was meant to me. I do want to read more by the author though. Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey, whatever. I believe there are four books in the same series. I'm not going to continue. Uh, I do like reading like classic sci-fi and I will continue to do so, but uh, I think this was the third one that I've read by this author. I find his concept super interesting, but his writing is pretty dry and there's always, you know, a little sprinkle of... <laughs> but um, uh, his endings always end up being so um, so yeah, um, it is what it is. There were parts that I liked. I feel like my interest throughout the whole book was like this and it's like a 200 page book. So yeah, even though I overall enjoyed it, um, not enough to continue. I feel like nothing that comes up afterwards will be worth reading. You can contradict me though in the comment section because I am still kind of open. It is in this version, not the other one. So still open, but we'll see. Probably not though. Um, Twilight number six. <laughs> Is it going to be a thing? Because I read Midnight Sun, uh, which was hilarious and horrible, um, but uh, I've heard that she's going to do the same thing, which by the way, it was Twilight, but like through uh, Edward's point of view. I've heard she's going to do the same thing for the rest of the series, which 
horrible. I will not read that. Um, uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. Uh, probably not. Okay. But like, it was so terrible. To be fair, I liked to hear the new information, like teenage only, you know, but no, probably not. Maybe. <laughs> uh, next we have Leviathan Wakes or whatever the rest of the series is. Um, I have book three and four on my shelf. Uh, I was hoping to get to book two, but you know, Nothing is open right now, so I can't continue shopping for used books. Uh, but my library has the Artie book, which I did uh, try for some parts of book one. So I could do it, but I was, again, pretty disappointed by the first book. I thought I was going to give it five stars. Like, I went into it thinking five-star book, adult, sci-fi, you know, so much rave. I still want to watch a TV show, though. Um, but I was just not really into the character. The story was meh. Um, and again, there were a few... <laughs> sprinkles um but yeah i don't know like people say that it improves probably what i will do is try the tv show and if i like the tv show i will continue to give a shot to the series but right now i'm just still kind of mad it's still fresh you know um and i will never get over two authors two male authors sexualizing a moon like i've never i, I why would you think a moon looks like a prostitute at a cheap brothel. I will never get over that, like, ever. Then we have the last book in the Book of Dust series by Philip Pullman. I've talked about The uh, Secret Commonwealth. Made it to my worst book of 2020. And, like, part of me still wants to read the third book, which I don't know when it's coming out, but book two, which was the one I mentioned, uh, made it to my worst because it was not only the biggest disappointment ever, it was also... I, I just still can't understand that the same this author wrote one of my favorite series of all time is dark materials it's it can't be the same person it just can't uh the pointless sexual assault scene um the the i no i i also something i'm not over still and i finished it like a year ago i i just yeah i i have nothing to say clearly I will probably still read the third book because I'm curious. I'm still hoping it will like be all worth it. Uh, but so far it hasn't been. And I've read two books in this series. So probably shouldn't, but probably still will. Um, and last but not least, just to make fun of myself, um, I'm currently reading the first book in this series. And I'm thinking about not continuing the series. Like I'm going to give a shot to the whole book, obviously. Uh, but I'm, I'm like calling it. <laughs> Future Emily can come back. And uh, let us all know if uh, Pass Emily was right. But uh, I'm currently reading Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. I'm not feeling it. Like, it sounds awesome, you know? Magic ships. Yes. Uh, but I think I'm like 10 hours into a 35-hour audiobook. And I'm still not really feeling it. I should probably DNF it. But, like, uh, I think I'm using this as a, like, last chance for this author. And then if I hate it, I'll just give up completely. Um, I don't know why, because it's not even the fact that they're, like, character-driven fantasy books, because I, I love plenty of them. I feel like there's just, like, a, not really much of a plot, there's not much of a world-building or magic system I can focus on, and the characters, I don't really care either. So, like, anything that I would usually like about a book are not there, I, I feel like I'm just going through it. Which... I will, again, continue. I'll let you know. Probably will not be able to finish it this month uh, before the end of the month. I'll try, though. But I'm just calling it in advance. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting some series, but, I mean, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, again, I will link the past ones that I've done down below for anyone interested. Please let me in the comment section, actually, if you have any books that you're not sure if you want to continue the series or not, and we can all let you know if you should or not. From the books that I've mentioned, which ones should I just give up on and which ones should I continue reading the series? Because I want to know. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I will see you very soon in a coming video. Bye.